Hey everyone, how's it going? I have a great video for you uh, today. We'll be talking about uh, some sources I actually have on information on the Switch Pro, and I actually have quite a lot, uh, surprisingly. I'll talk about where these sources um, vaguely are from and stuff. There's some stuff I'm not really going to tell you. I, I have a whole set of notes here uh, because I don't want anyone to get fired and anyone getting in trouble. Um, but I'll explain why I'm coming forward with this information now when I've actually had it for, oh, I'd say probably over a month at this point. Uh, and before I do that, I want to remind you of a new giveaway we have going on for the month of March. I realize this video is releasing on the last day of February, uh, but we're wrapping up that, that last giveaway. So our new giveaway is actually going to be for a copy of Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, and then two other winners are going to get $20 Nintendo Switch eShop gift cards, PlayStation Network cards, Xbox Live cards, whatever. Essentially, a digital card worth 20 bucks for any of the major platforms out there. Uh, so there'll be three total winners for the month of March. A link to enter will be down in the description. And I wish all of you guys luck on that. And congratulations to whoever, because I don't know who won at the time of recording this, our last giveaway for February. All right. Let's get into this. So, uh, I have two sources. They're from completely different places and completely different companies. Uh, they are not related to each other whatsoever. Uh, one of those sources is from manufacturing, aka uh, the people that are physically putting together switch units. Uh, and then the other person is from a retail uh, marketing department. Uh, for a major retailer, but I'm going to leave which retailer it is completely undisclosed. Uh, I'm not going to refer to these people as uh, male or female or anything in between because I am going to try to keep uh, what I, I know about these people to an absolute minimum. Uh, the big thing in me vetting these is I don't want to go into the exact uh, ways I vetted them because I don't want to give any hints uh, to the companies uh, about who these people are, uh, because obviously they are breaking their own rules at the companies to say anything to anyone. You might go, why me? Why Nintendo Prime? I don't know why. I tried asking both of these sources that same question, and they essentially just said they like my channel. That's it. They didn't really give me any other information, so that's what I have to work on when it comes to why they chose me to talk to. Uh, as for uh, how I am able to know information they give me is correct. Well, they gave me information on a lot of things, uh, including the last Nintendo Direct, uh, some of the things that were going to be in that Nintendo Direct. Not everything, but I knew some things. Uh, I also knew what was going to happen with Pokemon Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond, whatever they're called. Uh, I was actually told that information quite some time ago. It wasn't told about Legends. So they don't know everything. But the point is, I was given literal information that has now been proven to be correct. Um, I don't like to make myself the source of things because I realize, well, technically I'm just a messenger right now from them to you. I am where you are hearing this information first, making me the internet's source for this information. And I really take that stuff to heart. Uh, I don't think I've ever been the source of anything directly in the past. So, I'm going to throw out here that what I'm about to tell you, I still consider it to be a rumor. Until Nintendo announces and says anything, um, everything should be a rumor, no matter how much I might trust these sources uh, and their proven track record to me behind the scenes. That being said, you guys are here because you want to know what the hell is going on. We're four minutes in, Nate. What the hell is going on? So, let's let's just jump into it. I'll have a timestamp as well that would have jumped to this so you don't have to go through all the intro mumbo jumbo. All right. So, um, the Switch Pro, and by the way, they actually gave me um, some other possible names that Nintendo is considering for the device, but I'm not going to touch on those names because I feel like if I mention the names they're considering, it could point the companies to potentially where the leaks are coming from. So, I'm not going to put the names out there. I appreciate they told me. They said I could share. I am going to protect them and not share names so for now switch pro uh it's currently in production not just dev units so yeah dev units obviously that's no secret we know dev units are out there from other leakers and other sources but we're not talking about dev units we're talking about final 
retail units are currently in production. Um, there are two manufacturing lines uh, that are literally doing nothing at Nintendo but making Switch Pros. Uh, every other manufacturing line they have is making current Switches, Switch Lights, all that stuff, Redbox Switch. Uh, Nintendo does not want to launch the Switch Pro until it has close to 10 million units ready to go in warehouses to avoid shortages that they have seen themselves with PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and even themselves last year. In fact, the Switch shortages last year is what pushed Nintendo to want to build up enough stock of the system before launch, rather than going in with the typical couple million and ramping up production as demand increases. They feel like demand for the Switch Pro is apparently going to be super high out the gate and that they'll sell at least 10 million uh, units, not necessarily right away, but you know that they, they, they figure that they're going to sell at least 10 million. You know, no worry about production once they see where demand is at after that. Uh, they can't currently have more than two lines uh, making the units because of chip shortages. And this is something we already know exists out there. Uh, everyone's having chip shortages. This is why we can't get enough PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series Xs and all that out there. Uh, why we can't get all the new latest and greatest PC components out there. Because there's, there's a worldwide silicon shortage. Everyone's being impacted by this. Switch was impacted by it last year. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that is a thing, and that makes it so Nintendo can't actually ramp up production past where it's currently at. Uh, that being said, they did not give me any information on what chip is being used inside the system other than saying it is a new chip. Um, it could be new in that it's just a smaller, even more shrunk-down version of Tegra X1 that's able to be overclocked with the same cooling solution. Uh all the way up to other rumors and reports out there. I, I did not have DLSS 2.0. I did not have 4K taught to me. Um, they didn't really go too much into tech specs, which I know everyone wants, but it's a new chip. So it could be everything from just a shrunk down Tegra X1 that's overclocked all the way to, you know, the rumors that are out there that this is like something new with tensor cores or, you know, DLSS and 4K output. Possible. I don't have any information to refute any of those reports. Um, the screens are being manufactured by a completely different company than the current switches. Now, the current switches were being Japan Display and a couple others. Uh, that's not it. We do know that Nintendo does have a public contract with InnoLED Display, but none of those displays actually exist in any devices they sell now. So I think it's kind of a safe assumption that it's probably an InnoLED Display, which can do everything all the way down to mini LED displays even. Uh, much lower power draw, better better colors, more accurate blacks, all that jazz. And you can do uh, screens all the way to the edge. And it's just newer technology that's more energy efficient and produces better image quality. Would make a lot of sense to switch to it if the price is right, of course. Uh, so whatever, going to be a new screen. That actually is like a really old rumor. That was one of the first things we actually heard about Switch Pro is that it would have new screens. So there you go. Um, just reconfirming, I suppose, double upping, um, you know, whatever, the old rumors. Uh, Nintendo wants to launch align the Switch Pro with a proper software. Not necessarily exclusives. People are worried about exclusives for the Pro. Uh, but just in terms of games that can tangibly encourage users to consider upgrading. Uh, so this kind of aligns, I think, with a lot of people's thought processes. Breath of the Wild 2, um, Splatoon 3, uh, you know, Pokemon Legends, games that are going to be on the current switches today, but maybe are just higher frame rate, higher resolution on the other platforms. Um, Nintendo uh, is has a goal to push current Switch momentum uh, as far as it can go leading into release, a new strategy for Nintendo, according to one of the sources, uh, that is based on their history of using new tech to reinvigorate sales. So typically what Nintendo does is they bring in a new version of a system, a, a, even a more powerful version, when sales are starting to go this way. Nintendo actually is trying to do the opposite this time and peak switch to sales like this and then release the Pro and have that just take the peak even higher. That is Nintendo's goal. Whether or not they achieve it, we don't know. But, I mean, you could argue they're on track for it at least for the first half of this year. We'll see. Uh, people are probably wanting to know, when is it going to come out? There's no exact time frame at this at this point. Obviously, we can look at game releases and try to figure it out. Um, they, neither of these sources are sure because Nintendo internally apparently has not actually picked an exact date yet. Uh, but 
could be anywhere from this year, 2022. Sometime in the next 18 months, this thing's going to be on the market is my best guesstimate based on what they were talking to me about. Uh, Nintendo absolutely will not mention a Switch Pro, nor will they say anything new is coming soon because they're going to try to keep momentum going as strong as it can. Again, this kind of reaffirms what before they want Switch to peak and they want to release it at that peak, which is a completely different strategy. Uh, that's more like a, a PlayStation strategy, really. Uh, beyond that, there will be an extremely short announcement to release, period. Could be as little as one or two months after the system is announced that it arrives. So literally, they could announce it tomorrow. It's here by April. Like that's That's kind of what it was sort of framed to me as. It's going to be a really rapid announcement to release because when they announce it, they're ready to go. Basically, they're they're ready to get this thing out there. They don't feel they need a six month run up. In fact, that would makes a lot of sense since that would actually really kill Switch sales, and they don't want to ruin momentum. So if you're gonna have a, a temporary momentum stopper, it's because everyone's saving up money to just buy you know millions and millions of these systems at launch. So that is uh, what I have for you. Uh, nothing too groundbreaking, I would say, uh, but it is very interesting to uh, encapsulate all this information together and kind of paint the picture Nintendo is sort of setting up here uh, for Switch, assuming, again, that these sources are correct. I am still going to consider all this information to be rumors, even though I'm the source, even though I'm confident in these sources. I have never done this <laughs> This is a first, and so when all this stuff proves to be wrong, which I, some of it, I guess, can't ever be proved to be wrong, but when some of it's proved to be wrong, people are going to bring back and say, I'm horrible and don't trust me, and that's fine. I'm not sure if I 100% trust this information, but I want to bring it to you because I feel like I have enough evidence to not, like, not, not just sit on this info and not give it to you guys after i sat on other info and didn't give it to you guys and then they were right so i i'm just i'm gonna throw it out there see what happens we're all on this switch pro journey together those of us that are waiting for an upgraded switch i know not everyone even wants an upgraded switch people are afraid of the upgraded switch no to answer your question i know what you're thinking do did you hear anything about an improved joy con did it fix drift i have not heard anything about that i did ask Never got a response, so it is what it is. I'm just giving you what I got. We'll go with it from there. You let me know your thoughts on this information down in the description. Do you think it's real? Uh, do you think it's reasonable? Do you think I'm crazy? It's all right. Let me know all your thoughts. Uh, and if you enjoy this video, uh, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. All right, folks, I'll catch you guys in the next video.